Hello, my name is David Murray from Great Plains Conservation. We're in the Lenyanti region of northern Botswana. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the wild dog. There's many unique aspects and characteristics of the wild dog. Most especially is that it is the rarest mammal in southern Africa, with estimates between two and a half and three and a half thousand of them left. There's a wide range of reasons why the animals are, are so rare, um, but particularly because they're incredibly sensitive to the environment and agricultural encroachment around their habitats. The Linyanti area predominantly is by far one of the, the best areas, along with the Okavanga Delta, uh, for the wild dog's habitat. Firstly, the, the wild dog are, are pack animals, um, so they hunt in groups between three, four, five, and maybe even up to the numbers of 20. Their technique for hunting is very much about endurance. And with this endurance hunting, they are one of the, the most successful, if not the, the most successful predator in their, their hunting success. So once they start a hunt, the percentages vary between about 85 and even 95%. And in order to do that, they need a lot of open spaces. So the Lianti has big grasslands and a lot of open spaces. And there's a number of camps along these areas, including Salinda, which are ideal and probably one of the most prominent places to, to see the wild dogs. The wild dogs, you would have what is the alpha female. She's very much the matriarch and the leader of the pack and she dens at around normally May or June. We've got three dens at the moment, um, all of which have produced a number of puppies. One thing that's, again, very unique within Wild Dog is the social structure. They work very much in a cooperative way. So when it's hunting, they all hunt together. Once they catch, say, an impala, they very much feed together and they have a subordinate level of structure. So if the alpha female was to catch some food, the other dogs will approach her in a very much begging almost uh, way as far as respect for the alpha female. And it's the same for the puppies. So the puppies at the moment, they're at the den and they're being looked after in the den, maybe by one or maybe the alpha female. But that is what's so, so unique and endearing, I think, to many, many people about the wild dog is they have this level of cooperation and family they're very together and they look after each other and they don't have this sort of infighting or competition um, that you often see with any other uh, mammal packs or prides in that sense. They're very fragile, they're you know, in need of huge protection and having people coming to Botswana and visiting and photographing and, and showing other people the the situation of these are on the, the lifeline of extinction with a number of 3,000 of them and the more people that can come and appreciate and share the joy of watching these animals can only merit the, the level of us being able to conserve them even further. So tourists coming to this region is extremely important to the conservation of these and of every animal around Botswana and the rest of Africa.